big features are that we have a threaded chat experience. And so um, conversations are grouped by topic, and it's easy for me to go in and choose which topics I want to be involved in. So um, all, the top, all the conversations here are threaded. I am explicitly called out in, uh, in this message, and when that happens, I get a flag over here that tells me that this message is directed at me. I can title messages. I can also go in and embed objects like images right into the message. I can embed documents. I can actually go and click on this document right here, and the conversation stream is brought over as well. Uh, let's go back to that conversation. Uh, let me scroll up. I can embed um, GIFs from Giphy right here, um, as well as stickers and, um, and third-party services like Twitter. Uh, I can configure them to push messages in, uh, depending on a handle or a hashtag that I'm watching. I can also bring a bot into the conversation stream, like Polly. And so um, Polly is one of the most popular collaboration bots out there. And so we're asking Polly to help us vote on where to take these artists after our reception. And so Polly will put in an object, we can all vote on that object, and then Polly will bring a response back in. Um, we can create memes as responses and messages, and I can mark messages as important. So let me show you how to create some of these memes and stickers. So I can go in, I can click on this smiley, I can choose to send a GIF from Giphy, I can enter a keyword in and preview the GIF before sending it. I can construct a meme from one of the set of images, I can set the captions, um, or I can go in, I can take one of our editable stickers, I really love these, and uh, I can go in and change all of the text if I want, so I can say, you know, love it instead, <laughs> uh, and I can insert that into my message. Um, it's really easy to go and attach files, so I can see all of the files that I've recently been interacting with. Uh, we use the Office Graph to do all of that. Pull in all the files that are available on the Teams um, product as well. And then um, I can uh, go in and have an ad hoc meetup with somebody. So this is an open meeting. Oops. I can join in this meeting. And, um, and then Tucker will join as well. And then maybe you can... Um, hi! <laughs> share it off. Okay, so Tucker's sharing his desktop with me, and so we can collaborate back and forth. Um, thank you. Yeah, I could go and interact with people in our um, private chat experience. So here, I could say, hey, uh, love the face-to-face, -face. let's keep doing it. And then Tucker can reply with, you know, GIFs and emoji and that sort of thing. Um, I can look up Tucker's organization through Active Directory, pull out his org and identity information. Um, we have bots in here also. So this is an example of WhoBot. I can ask it questions about subject matter experts and get back responses on who's talking about things the most. Or I can ask it questions about you know people and find out what their organizational structure is, uh, the recent files and collaborators. Um, it's also easy to go and dive into my meetings and get that right from here. So, um, so I think that gives you a pretty high level overview of the product. Is that yes. cool? Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you.